Hey guys and welcome back to another video. As requested, I'm here to show you how to install the latest version of the Android SDK platform tools, which is essentially your fastboot and ADB on your Ubuntu installation. So this requires a 64-bit operating system, or at least flavor of Ubuntu, and uh, of course a computer to go along with that. As I've tried on a 32-bit installation and it just didn't run, so I'm assuming that you'll need a 64-bit computer to get the latest version of Android tools, so ADB and fastboot. Um, but uh, yeah, so let me know if you can get it working on a 32-bit system, but for now, 64-bit is required as to my knowledge right now. So you can see I'm on the 64-bit version of Ubuntu, and we'll get started right away. So the first thing we need to do is make sure you have the JDK installed, and that just stands for the Java Development Kit. Now you can download this from the Java website, but we can do it through the terminal uh, using apt-get. So we can press Control alt t or just open up the terminal however which way you like and I'm going to make this a little bit bigger uh, so we can just see what the dealio is now this might take a little bit because I'm not too um, too good at using this now where is I'm going to think it's the zoom in one okay just so it's a little bit bigger so we can see uh, so first off we're going to uh, install the JDK like I said previously so to do that we're going to update our apt repository so we can do that by typing up sudo apt-get and then space update hit enter enter your password and then that should update the repositories all all of them so just give it a few seconds or minutes for it to update all the packages and everything that we need to download so now that's done we're going to install the JDK now so to do this, we're going to type in sudo apt-get um, install default-jdk. And we're going to press Y on our keyboard and hit enter. And that is going to download and install the JDK for us today. And that is, of course, going to take uh, 41 megabytes to download. So it's going to take approximately maybe a minute and a half. So I'll be back when this finishes downloading and we'll get to installing the um, the Android tools part or the platform tools part using the uh, command line tools for the Android SDK. Okay, now that we're just unpacking the stuff that we need to use and this should only take a few seconds or a minute. And um, once this is done, we can get started on downloading platform tools. So I assume this is adding it, adding the JDK to our um, libraries and all that, the directories so the system can use it. Uh, so once that is done, we can essentially close this. We won't be needing it anymore. And we'll be uh, heading over to this website here called Android Studio. Oh, sorry. Yeah, pretty much the studio page. And I'm um, just going to zoom in a little bit so it's easy to see. And basically from, the, from this page, you want to hit download options. And then you want to scroll down just so we can get the command line tools on its own. It's a 264 megabyte download for Linux. So we're going to click on that zip, check that checkbox, and hit the download button. We're going to save this file, and this just saves it to whatever default location it is. I assume the downloads, we can uh, have a look. So yes, uh, just our downloads folder. Of course, you can move this wherever you like to uh, keep it more clean and all that. So uh, after this, we're going to be extracting the zip and downloading the latest version of the platform tools. So as to my knowledge, uh, you won't need to install any drivers for your phone to communicate in ADB or fastboot uh, if you're on a Linux operating system. Uh, I'll be able, to, hopefully, I'll be able to demonstrate that by plugging in my phone, and hopefully, the virtual machine can pick it up. So we'll see in about three minutes once the uh, SDK tools has finished uh, downloading. So I'll be back when this finishes downloading. Alrighty, so our download is finished and we can close that Firefox thingy and we can also minimize that. And we're gonna head over to wherever we downloaded it. We're gonna open it up with our what do you call it, Archive Manager, I think it's called. And you can see we have a folder called Tools inside and inside it has everything that we need essentially. So we're going to extract the Tools folder outside. 
uh, no biggie there. Uh, this shouldn't take too long, and as you can see, it's almost done pretty much. And Kidoki, we are done. We can close that. We can open up the tools folder, and basically, what we want to run is this Android. Uh, we're going to call it a script. I'm not sure what the actual file extension is. It doesn't look like it has one, but it is a shell script. Oh, maybe it does. And we're going to make sure that we uh, it can be executed and then we can close that and we can bring up another terminal we can right click in a light folder here and just open up terminal and uh, of course we're going to have to zoom this in again now what was the button? control plus didn't work last time am I holding shift instead? nope okay maybe I have the keyboard um, set wrong but that's alright I think it's big enough to have a look anyway so basically you want to drag in the that Android file uh, onto the terminal window, hit enter, and as long as you have the JDK installed, the Android SDK manager should pop up, just like that. And it's going to fetch all the little XML files to detail what is to be downloaded and the location for that. And you can see we have a couple things checked, at least 10 packages. We're going to click on the deselect all thing, and you can follow this if you just want to update your um, platform tools as per usual and we're just going to check the Android SDK platform tools because that is all we will need and you can click on install one package uh, select this license to accept and then hit install now it should download the platform tools uh, in a matter of seconds there and it's just going to do its thing apparently the ADB server is already online so we can hit close, we can close the SDK manager and our um, terminal should return to the dollar sign and now from within here if we go back we can see the platform tools are on the outside of the tools folder I'm not too sure why uh, last time it was inside and we just want to make sure that ADB and fastboot are allowed to be executed um, very important I guess like so I believe that's all we need to have done uh, as well we can close this and do the same thing with a right click and open in terminal for that same folder I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger just so we can see what is going on and it's lagging, okay, that's alright uh, from here we should be able to type uh, ADB I might need a dot in front of it but okay, I need um, a dot ADB and you can see that it has come up so this is the same as on the Mac if I remember so it is. So if I just clear this again, so to run this, you need to put a dot forward slash to denote that I guess it's in the same directory and not in a system, like one of those system library directories. Uh, so it's not looking there. And then we need to type in ADB or fastboot. So we can type in ADB version just like that, and you can see we're in 1.036, which is higher than the ones I provide on Windows. But uh, we know that anything above 0. Uh, sorry, 1.032. Uh, should work just fine. So now I'm going to plug in my phone and hopefully we'll be able to do a ADB devices or a fast boot something and get this thing working. So my phone is plugged in. Now I'm going to make sure within VirtualBox that the device is connected. Uh, this one. Yes, it is. Okay, it's popped up there. And I'm going to type in ADB devices. And you can see uh, is unauthorized, but that is because we need to accept the RSA fingerprint on our device. Uh, well, I forgot to plug in my camera, but I can't show you that right now. But I'm sure you'll understand what I'm saying. You just need to go on your device and hit that OK button with while you check the box, remember for this computer or something like that. So you don't have to keep on pressing OK. And if we repeat the same command, our phone should be detected as per usual. And of course, FastBit should work just the same. Should you list out all our commands that we can possibly use. So that is how you install and update the platform tools, or I call them Android tools for simplicity's sake, um, on a Linux computer, more specifically Ubuntu. But yeah, hope this helps someone out, hope it helps you out. If it does, feel free to leave a like down below, and if you have any other suggestions, um, feel free to have it uh, mentioned down in the comments or post it over at the subreddit. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you all in the next video.